Hi, and welcome to Roy's Game Table. Today we have an unboxing of the Rise of the Red Skull expansion for Marvel Champions, the living card game. So pull up a chair and let's see what's inside. All right, I am gonna go ahead and go through all of the cards that are in this set. Uh, I know this is a campaign box and I know there are some people who don't wanna have campaign spoilers. So I'm telling you this so that you can know that I will be going through the cards. So if you don't wanna be spoiled by anything, just keep that in mind. Uh, but otherwise, go ahead and join with me as we look through uh, the Rise of the Red Skull expansion. All right. And we do have here the rule book. And let's see. Um, it just has some information. Campaign mode rules. It does have a little bit of a comic strip here uh, that you can read to start off the campaign. And then scenario one of the campaign is right here. And each one of the pages uh, has different scenario, different rules for the different scenarios. And then... Uh, you know, the back page tells you that Hawkeye comes with leadership, Spider Woman comes with aggression and justice. So, and then you have a campaign log that you can use over here on the back of the rule book. And then you get a white cardboard uh, thing. <laughs> so, there's that. All right, and then we got several decks of cards. I'll open them up and go through each one of them. All right, first of all, let's look at Spider-Woman, and we see her here. Superhuman agility is her hero ability. Interrupt. When you play an aspect card, Spider-Woman gets plus one thwart, plus one attack, and plus one defense until the end of the round. Limit once per round for each aspect. And then, of course, Jessica Drew is her alter ego. His three recovery. Double agent. Choose two aspect instead of one during deck building. You must include an equal number of cards from those aspects in your deck. So our first hero in the game that can be multiple, well, can be more than one aspect. And then she does have an action. Look at the top card of any deck. Limit once per round. Okay. Well, let's see what cards she has. We have Captain Marvel. Uh, four costs, three health. And a response after, after Captain Marvel uses a basic power, draw one card. So that's a great ability. Allies are already good, but if you can get her into play, she can thwart or attack for you and get cards in your hand that you can either play or use as resources. That's a good card, Captain Marvel. All right, finesse. It's a condition. And it, it looks like it is a Spider-Woman card. I'm saying that because uh, obviously she comes with aggression and justice. And some of the Spider-Woman cards, some of you may know, are actually different aspects. And this looks like just a Spider-Woman card, though. Anyway, Hero Resource, Exhaust Finesse, generate a wild resource for an aspect card. All right, and you get a couple of copies of that. Jessica Drew's Apartment. Uh, alter Ego Action, Exhaust Jessica Drew's Apartment. Search the top five cards of your deck for an aspect card and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Nice. Venom Blast, and this is, as it says on here, well, the hero action, attack, deal five damage to an enemy, and then it says this card is both a Spider-Woman card and an aggression card, and this is what I was talking about, that some of her cards are actually aspect cards, and so there's Venom Blast, and you get a couple of copies of that. Pheromones at cost of two is stun and confuse an enemy. All right, so two of those. Contaminant Immunity. Hero action, heal three damage from Spider-Woman and give her a tough status card. Very good, so she can, she can heal and prevent some damage whenever she's attacked. Looks like it's a good card, only a cost of two there. You get two of those. And conspicuous, it's a skill, a thwart, hero action. Remove a total of three threat from among schemes in play. So that reads like you don't have to take it all from one scheme. You can move from a side scheme and then the main scheme or whatever. So a lot of flexibility it looks like with this card for only a cost of one as well. You get two of those. Self-propelled glide. Hero action. Ready spider woman. She gains aerial until the end of the round. Three of those. And then we have spider girl. And this is just an aggression card. So this could go in any hero's deck. 
All right, she's an Avenger, responds after you play Spider-Girl from your hand, stun and confuse a minion. Combat training, we've seen that before. Attack team, we've seen that before. Press the advantage. Hero action, deal two damage to an enemy. If that enemy is stunned or confused, draw one card. So pretty decent there, only one cost. And if nothing else, you get to deal some damage. All right, piercing strike. Hero action, deal three damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing, and this is a new keyword that's in this set. Discard any tough status card from the target before dealing damage. So not only do you get to ignore the tough status, but you get to um, remove the tough status card. All right, so there are three of those. And then we have a justice card here, Spider-Man, making his debut as an ally. He's a cost of five, which is uh, pretty expensive, but after you play Spider-Man from your hand, remove three per person threat from a side scheme, and he has a thwart of two, so he can do a lot of good thwarting there. And uh, well, the three threat on his ability has to come from a side scheme, but you know, still decent thwarting and of course a two attack. We'll see how you can use him. He has a cost of five. Heroic intuition, we've seen. Skilled investigator. Play under any player's control, max one per player. Hero response. After a side scheme is defeated, exhaust skilled investigator and draw one card. All right, three of those. Interrogation room, we've already seen those before. Clear the area. It's a thwart. Remove two threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat on that scheme, draw one card. So this will be good to help you get some card draw to replace itself and remove some threat. All right, you get three copies of those and then we've got strength, energy, genius. All right, and then we're at her obligation. And certain loyalties. Uh, you can flip the alter ego form and you can either exhaust Jessica Drew to remove the card from the game, just like we've seen with other obligations, or place three threat on the main scheme, discard this obligation. Okay, her uh, nemesis minion is the Viper, Elite Hydra. She's got five health, two scheme, two attack. While the Viper is engaged with you, your hand size is reduced by one. Uh, so that is not cool. That would be, you know, anytime you have to, you, you only, you, anytime you have a smaller hand size, that's very limiting. So you'd want to get her out of the way. All right, the Viper's Ambition. When revealed, place an additional one threat here. So it looks like a pretty standard side scheme has the hazard icon. Okay, and then there are some other minions. Uh, Hydra Regular. And sight one, so this is something new to me. When this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme. So it looks like there's a new keyword, another new keyword in sight. And in this case, you would put one threat on the main scheme when this, when this one comes out. And there is two of those. And Hell Hydra. When revealed, each Hydra minion engaged with a hero attacks that hero. Each player who was not attacked this way searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play, engage with it, and shuffle the encounter deck. All right, so that is Spider-Woman. And now we're going to look at Hawkeye. All right, so here we have Hawkeye. And uh, he is an Avenger, quick draw, action, exhaust Hawkeye, ready Hawkeye's bow. All right, one thwart, two attack, one defense. And then on his Clint Barton side, his alter ego, weapon of choice, spend one resource of any type, Search your deck and discard pile for Hawkeye's bow and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Okay, limit once for, per phase. We have Hawkeye's bow. Uh, it's a restricted and your hero gets plus one attack and each of your arrow attacks gains ranged. This is also a new keyword and ranged attacks ignore, re retaliate. All right, Hawkeye's quiver. You may play arrow events attached to this card as if they were in your hand. It's a hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's quiver, search the top five cards of your deck for an arrow event and attach it face up to this card. Mockingbird, his uh, signature ally here, when the villain initiates an attack against you, spend one resource of any type and return Mockingbird to your hand, prevent all damage from this attack. Sonic Arrow, exhaust Hawkeye's bow, confuse an enemy and deal three damage to it or five instead if it is already confused. All right, and you get two of those. 
Explosive arrow. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow and choose a player. Deal three damage to the villain and each minion engaged with that player. All right, two of those. Electric arrow. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow, stun an enemy and deal three damage. Five instead if it already stunned. So this is the stun version of the arrow we saw earlier. Electric arrow. Get two of those. Cable arrow. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow. Remove three threat from a scheme. Ignoring any crisis icons in play. So that's good. That's, a, that's actually pretty cool. All right. And we get two of those. Vibranium arrow. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow. Deal six damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. And we've seen that where you remove the tough status card. And uh, you do remove the tough status card before you deal damage. So even if the enemy has tough, this will still hit them. Okay. You get two of those. Expert Marksman. Exhaust Expert Marksman. Generate a wild resource for an arrow event. So just a resource card. And as we said, he comes with leadership. So exhaust this ally and discard one card from your hand. Deal X damage to an enemy where X is the number of printed resources on that card. All right, that's Hawkeye Kate Bishop. So you could put this card in with Hawkeye because it's a different alter ego name. Okay, Black Knight. Uh, but his basic attack gains piercing. Goliath. Goliath gets plus four attack until the end of the phase. At the end of the phase, discard Goliath. Okay, max one per phase. So uh, I guess you don't have to do that. I guess you can choose when you want to do that, and then he will go away. But there we have Goliath. Okay, U.S. agent. And he is an ally. And this is John Walker is his uh, alter ego name. Retaliate one. So he comes in with a cost of three, five health, but he does have a retaliate one on him. Okay. Sky cycle. Attached to an Avenger ally. Max one per ally. The attached ally gets aerial, and then you can exhaust the sky cycle to ready the attached ally. Okay, cool. So it'll stay in play on him, on whoever it's on, and there's three of those. Team training. Play under any player's control. Max one per player. Each ally you control gets plus one hit point. Okay, two of those, or actually three of those. Ready for action. Give an ally you control a tough status card. For only a cost of one, they can get it, take all of the damage, and still be able to do something for you maybe on the next turn. All right, three of those. Lead from the front, we've seen it. Some, uh, the power of leadership. War Machine. He uh, costs four, he gets toughness, and War Machine's basic attack gains range. So he ignores the retaliate keyword. All right, cost of four, three health. Avengers Tower, we've seen it. Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh, hero action, exhaust an Avenger character you control, ready another Avenger character you control. So a good way to ready your hero for only for zero cost. Well, a good way to ready your hero if you're playing with Avengers. Eventually... It may not be as good if you're not playing with an Avenger. And then we have Energy, Strength, Genius, His Obligation, Criminal Past. You may flip to Alter Ego, same basic thing. You can exhaust Clint Barton to remove it or discard Hawkeye's bow from play and then you discard this obligation. Okay, the uh, Nemesis minion is Crossfire. Uh, quick Strike, Crossfire's attack gains piercing, and if he comes out as a boost, if this boost resolves during an attack, the attack gains piercing. Okay. Marked for death. When revealed, the Clint Barton player searches their hand deck discard pile and play area for Mockingbird and places her face up beneath this card. When this stage is defeated, return Mockingbird to her, own, her owner's hand. Okay. And then Crossfire's Rifle, attached to Crossfire, otherwise attached to the villain. When attached enemy attacks, the attack gains ranged. Exhaust your hero and spend a, a wild resource to discard Crossfire's Rifle. Sniper Shot, when revealed an alter ego, it puts three threat on the main scheme and hero, three damage to your hero. Two of those. And that's it for Hawkeye. Okay, there's some more cards and we'll go through those in just a minute. 
All right, as I said, I'm gonna be going through some of the encounter sets and actually some of the campaign cards. So just wanna let you know that I, will, that I will be showing those cards in this video. So if you don't wanna be spoiled with anything, thank you for watching. But if you don't care, go ahead and keep watching because the first villain we're gonna look at is Crossbones and uh, the cards that come in his particular set. Uh, and when he has a weapon attachment, his attacks gain piercing which is discarding a tough status card for the target before dealing damage. We've seen that. That's his side one. There's his side two. While well, Crop Spawns has a weapon attachment, he has attack team piercing. That's the same thing. Uh, looks like it's just a change. Oh, there is a went revealed there. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for Crossbones machine gun and attach it to Crossbones. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, and then side three. Uh, the win revealed, reveal the top card, the experimental weapons deck. Okay. And then we have attack on Mount Athena. Uh, when revealed, reveal the top card, the experimental weapons deck. Okay. The infinity stone and reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. And the getaway, reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. So that is... Those are his main schemes, uh, three main scheme levels. All right, Crossbones Machine Gun. This is the one you search for if you're playing side two. When you get to side two, attached to Crossbones uses two per player ammo counters. When Crossbones attacks you, remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded card. All right, Crossbones Armor. Uh, you, you attach to them, and when Crossbones would take any amount of damage, place it here instead. If there's five or more damage here, discard Crossbones' armor. Okay. Hydra Bomber, we've seen that from uh, the previous, I think, the core set. Full Auto, reve when revealed, if it's Alter Ego, it just surges. Hero, discard X cards from the top of the encounter deck where X is Crossbones' attack. Take one indirect damage for each boost icon discarded this way. So he's going to be dealing out some indirect damage. A couple copies of that. Hard as nails. When revealed, give the villain a tough status card. If you cannot heal three damage from it instead. And then the boost. Give the villain a tough status card if you can't heal three damage instead. Okay, a couple of those. Raid the armory in sight one. And this is where when it's revealed, you put one threat on the main scheme. So, when revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a weapon attachment is discarded. Reveal that card. Two of those. And then Crossbones Assault. This is a side scheme. When it's defeated, Crossbones activates against the player who defeated this scheme. So it can happen, and it looks like it would happen, on the hero turn that he would activate. All right, a couple of copies of that. And then Cornered Staff. When revealed, discard one per player cards from the top of the encounter deck. Place one additional threat here for each boost icon on, on cards discarded this way. Next, we have Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man gains the trait of each environment in play. That's his side one. Side two is the same thing, except with the addition of when revealed. If super absorbing power is in play, deal one encounter card to each player. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for super absorbing power and reveal it. Shuffle the encounter deck if it was searched this way. Okay, so only if it was searched that way. And then side three, forced response after absorbing man activates against you. If he has the ice or stone trait, place one threat on the main scheme. Metal or wood trait, take one indirect damage. Okay, interesting on how he can change and different things that can happen based on the trait he has. All right. And none shall pass. This is his main scheme. Forced response. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one delay counter here. When an environment enters play, discard each other environment card in play. And then if the stage is completed, the players lose the game. So it looks like he just has one main scheme. Yes, it looks like just one main scheme. Okay, dense forest. Uh, this is an environment. It's wood. And it'll surge. Force response, after Absorbing Man makes an undefeated attack against you, or undefended attack against you, sorry, take one indirect damage, two indirect damage instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. 
and the boost as you put the card in play. Snowy Hillside, it also surged. And after absorbing man makes an undefended attack against you, place one threat on the main scheme. Two instead, if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Rocky Outcrop. Uh, surge, force response. After absorbing man makes an undefended attack against you, heal one damage from him. Two instead, if there are five or more delay counters. Abandoned Facility. This has the metal trait. And after absorbing man makes an undefended attack against you, Discard one resource icon from your hand. Two instead if there's five or more delay counters. So those delay counters are going to come into play here, it looks like. Ball and chain. It's an attachment. You attach it to him, and you have to spend a physical resource. Shuffle this card into the encounter deck, uh, or the boost is that you reveal the card, and it, it gives him plus one in scheme, plus one attack. Stall tactics. When revealed, place one threat on the main scheme for every two delay counters on the main scheme. If no threat was placed this way, this card gains surge. And then you see the boost there. Five or more delay counters on the main scheme, you take one indirect damage. Okay, a couple of those. Swinging Stone. When revealed, Alter Ego, Absorbing Man Schemes. If Absorbing Man has the stone trait, he gets plus one scheme for this activation. And in the hero, Absorbing Man attacks you. And if he has a stone trait, plus one attack. Couple of those. Steel kick. You place two threat on the main scheme. Three, if he has a metal trait, that's alter ego. Or in hero, you take three indirect damage or more damage if he has a metal trait. Okay, piercing thorns. Disregard one card at random from your hand. If Exorium Man has the wood trait, discard one card you control. Okay, so that would be a card that's in play. And if Exorbitant Man has the stone or wood trait, you are stunned. That's the boost. Omnimorph Duplication. When revealed, if Exorbitant Man has the, and then it has different traits, Ice Trait, you exhaust your identity metal. He uh, gets a tough status card and heals one damage. Stone. Uh, give Exorbitant Man one face down boost card or wood. Discard one card at random from your hand. Okay, that's a treachery, a couple of those, th three of those. Icy Grip, when revealed, you are stunned if Absorbing Man has the Ice Trait and take two indirect damage. Uh, boost, if Absorbing Man has the Ice or Metal Trait, you give him a tough status card. And let me, when it says when revealed, you are stunned if Absorbing Man has the Ice Trait, take two indirect damage. So it looks like you would take the two indirect damage, whether or not he has the Ice Trait. I just didn't want to, I just wanted to clear up any confusion I may have caused. By the way, I said that. All right, a couple of icy grip. Avalanche, we have a side scheme. Uh, when revealed, each player must choose to either spend a energy resource or take two indirect damage. Three, if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Uh, another avalanche. And then super absorbing power. Absorbing man gains the ice, metal, stone, and wood traits. And if, you come, if it comes as a boost, you reveal this card. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next villain. Next we have Taskmaster. On his side one, force response, after player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. And then his side two, Rin Reveal, deal each player in an encounter card. Force response is the same thing. After a player changes hero form, they discard the top and take uh, damage equal to the number. Okay. Side three, uh, so when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. So the same thing looks like the when revealed, the force response are the same for his side two. So there's that. All right. Hunting down heroes. This is the main scheme. Force response, after resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form must choose to either place one threat here or take one damage. And if it's completed, players lose the game. So just one main scheme. All right, looks like we have some allies here. Uh, Moon Knight, response. After you play Moon Knight from your hand, spend a uh, wild resource, draw two cards. Shang-Chi, after you play Shang-Chi from your hand, spend an energy resource and stun an enemy. Two threat. Two thwart, two attack, three health. And that's what also Moon Knight had. White Tiger. 
After you play White Tiger from your hand, spend a mental resource, remove three threat from a scheme. Three thwart, one attack, that's nice for a thwart. Electra, one thwart, three attack. After you play Electra from your hand, spend a physical resource, deal three damage to an enemy. Hydra Hunter, this is a minion. Hydra Hunter's attack gains piercing and ranged. Boost if you are in hero form, take one damage. Otherwise, place one threat on the main scheme. Couple of those. Taskmaster Sword, attached to Taskmaster. Taskmaster's attacks gain piercing. Exhaust your hero and spend mental and physical resources. Discard this card, okay? And he gives it a plus one attack. Taskmaster's Shield, you attach to him, it gains retaliate one. You spend those resources to discard it. His photographic reflexes attached to Taskmaster. When a player attacks him, prevent all damage to that that would be dealt to Taskmaster and deal an equal amount of damage to that player's identity instead. Then discard photographic reflexes. All right, max once per attack. Pretty nasty. Couple of those. Mimicry. So an alter ego, you discard the top five cards of your deck. If a thwart card was discarded, Taskmaster schemes. And hero, discard the top five cards of your deck. If, if an attack card was discarded this way, he attacks you. All right, mimicry. Hunted by Hydra. And the incite keyword again. And each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card at random from their hand. Couple of those. We have some side schemes captured by Hydra. Place one random set aside captive ally face down beneath this scheme. And when this scheme is defeated, the player who defeated it takes that ally into their hand and removes this scheme from the game. All right. A few of those, uh, several of those. And then Taskmaster's Training Camp, another side scheme. Forced response after minion enters play, give it a tough status card. And it has the hazard icon. Okay, that's Taskmaster into the next villain. Next we have Zola. He just has on side one, retaliate one. Zola two, he has a retaliate one, but when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the test subject side scheme and reveal it. Okay, side three. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and reveals it. Shuffle the encounter deck. His main scheme, the island of Dr. Zola. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one test counter here. Then, if there are three or more test counters here, discard cards to the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play engaged with the first player and remove three test counters from this scheme. So looks like he's going to be trying to put a lot of minions into play. And then his side two of the main scheme. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one test counter here. Then if there are three or more test counters, discard from the top of the deck until he minion is discarded. Put it into play so the same similar effect as we just saw, but this is his last game scheme. You lose, if this fills up, you lose, uh, as you see there. If this scheme is completed, the players lose the game. Okay, we have Ultimate Bio Servant, uh, Minion. Toughness, Ultimate Bio Servant gets plus one attack for each attachment on it. Couple of those, actually several of those. Zola's Mutate, when revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a tech attachment is discarded. Attach that card to Zola's Mutate. And the boost is shuffle the mutate into the encounter deck. And by the way, the bio servant, the boost, give the villain a tough status card. Okay, so some Zola mutates. Berserk mutate. Quick strike. Place, and then the boost, place one test counter on the main scheme. For each test counter on the main scheme, Zola gets plus one scheme and plus one attack for this activation. All right. And then defensive programming. Attach the menu with the most remaining hit points without another copy of defensive programming attached. If you cannot, this card gains surge and then the attached menu gets plus two hit points and gains guard. All right, pretty nasty. A few copies of that. Pain inhibitors. Attach to the menu with the most remaining hit points without another copy of pain inhibitors. And if you can, it gains surge and then they get plus two hit points and gain retaliate one. All right, neurological implants attached to the minion, 
with the most remaining hit points without another copy of this card. It gets Surge and the attached minion gets plus two hit points and it also gives them plus two scheme, plus two attack as you see there. Mind Ray and Alter Ego, Zola schemes and you're confused and Hero, he attacks and you're stunned. All right, a few copies of that. Technological enhancements. We have the Insight keyword there again. Place one test counter on the main scheme. And then the boost, place one test counter on the main scheme. All right. Some side schemes now. Hydra Poison. Or, sorry, Hydra Prison. When revealed, each player searches their deck, discard pile in hand for a hero-specific ally and places it face down beneath this scheme. Then you put X thread on this scheme where X is the total cost of all allies beneath it. Each player shuffles their deck. And then when defeated, remove this scheme from the game and return each ally beneath it to its owner's hand. Okay? Test subjects. Uh, when the, this is when defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion, then reveal that minion. So in this case... You, whatever ability the minion may have, it would activate because you're revealing the minion. And here's another copy of that. And then Zola Experiments. Force response after minion enters play, attach the topmost tech to attachment in the counter discard pile to that minion. Okay, to our next villain. And the next villain is none other than Red Skull. And he gets plus one attack for each side scheme in play on his side one. Side two, same thing, but when revealed, deal each player in an encounter card. And then deal each player an encounter card on a side three. He gets a little bit more attack as he gets through the different stages. Okay. And then we have the main scheme, the Rise of Red Skull. Uh, this is just 1B. Force response after resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. And then the next part of the scheme, New World Hydra. After resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. So there we go. And if you fail this, the players lose the game. All right. So we have a minion here, the sleeper. Uh, five per person. One uh, scheme, three attack. He has guard, retaliate one, and toughness. The sleeper engages the first player. Remove the sleeper from the game. All right, Hydra Exo uh, Soldier, toughness, and then if he comes out as a boost, give the villain a boost status card and another boost card. All right, few copies of that. Red Skull's Luger, attached to Red Skull. Red Skull's attacks gain piercing and ranged, and then you can get rid of it by spending energy, mental, physical resources, discard this card. And you attach it to Red Skull if it comes out as a boost. Red Skull's right hook. Attached to Red Skull, he gets Retaliate 1, and you can spend those resources to get rid of it. A couple of copies of that. Master Strategist, attach it to Red Skull. Uh, and then it has a star effect for when he schemes or attacks. And when Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme in play. Then discard this card. Okay, so you want to keep those side schemes out, especially against him for that reason. Twisted Reality. It, there's the insight key word, you put it on a side scheme, and then when attached side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter card. All right, a couple of those. Bitter Rival. Exhaust a character you control for each side scheme in play, and then exhaust a character you control. Spreading Lies. Place two threat on each scheme in play. Give Red Skull a tough status card if it's a boost. Infinite Power. Uh, an Alter Ego, you would give Red Skull a tough status card and he schemes. And then a Hero, you give him a tough status card and he attacks you. All right, a couple copies of those. Then we have some side schemes. Uh, Red Skull can't take damage while this scheme is in play, it looks like. And when a character thwarts this side scheme, they may use their attack instead of their thwart. Okay, so a couple ways to get rid of it. So that's good at least. Sleeper Awakened. This scheme cannot leave play while the sleeper is in play, and then put the sleeper into play engaged with the first player. And when it's defeated, remove this card from the game. Remove it from the game. Prison Camps. The player who defeated this scheme searches their deck and discard pile for an ally, puts it into play, 
and shuffles their deck. So that's a good incentive to get rid of that one. Censor the past. Each player chooses up the three cards in their discard pile and shuffles them into their deck. That's when it's defeated. Hide your reinforcements. When defeated, the player who defeated the scheme discards a non-elite minion. Hazard icon there. And then sorry about that, Mass Chaos. Each player discards the top five cards of their deck and places one threat here for each different type of resource icon. And you see the four resources and they discard it this way. So you can have, looks like you can have up to four threat on the scheme if I'm reading that right. Okay, that's all the villains. Now we're gonna look at some of the modular sets and then we'll look at the campaign cards. All right, the first modular set here, the Weapon Master set, attached to the villain. And attached villains, attacks gain piercing. Spend those two resources to discard it. Hydra Sidearm, it gives a plus one attack. You attach it to the villain. And when attached villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. And you can get rid of it by spending some resources. Weapon Master and Alter Ego, the villain schemes. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains Surge. And Hero, the villain attacks you. And if they have a weapon attachment, it, it gains Surge in that way too. Couple of those. And then Concussion Grenade. and Alter Ego, you're confused. Place one threat on the main scheme too. If you were already confused and then in Hero, you get stunned and you, and you deal one damage to your hero or two if you're already stunned. Okay, the next one is Hydra Patrol. And uh, we have a minion here with the Incite keyword, one threat to, to attack, one scheme to attack, sorry. Couple of those, Hydra Soldier. A uh, guard, and then you deal each player an encounter card. We've seen something like this before. I think it's actually in Captain America's Nemesis minion deck, but one scheme, two attack. A couple of Hydra soldiers, three of them looks like. And then Hydra pa Patrol, when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play. Engaged with them, shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, and then our next set is going to be Hydra Assault, Hydra Flame Soldier. Force Respond after Hydra, Hydra Flame Soldier makes an undefended attack against you, discard a support you control. And then the boost, if this card resolves during an undefended attack, discard a support you control. So he wants to get rid of supports. And there are three of those. Hydra Jet Trooper, Quick Strike. And then the boost, if you're in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not deal any boost cards for that attack. All right, a couple of those, and then Hell Hydra, we've seen this before, so you can read it. You can pause and read it if you want. Okay, and then the other modular set is the Experimental Weapons set. Uh, laser Rifle, you attach it to the villain, and when attached, the attached villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. All right, energy shield, you attach to the villain. The villain gets retaliate one. You can spend those resources to get rid of it. Power gauntlets, uh, you put it on the villain and the attached villain attacks and gains, uh, attacks and damages you, discard one card from your hand. An exosuit, it gives them plus one attack, plus one scheme, or her, if the case is it's a female villain. But then you can spend some resources to get rid of it. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the campaign cards. All right, I'm about to show the cards from the campaign. And so if you don't wanna see any spoilers, I just wanna let you be aware that there are some spoilers coming up in just a second here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the campaign cards. And we're gonna start with the Hydra campaign basic. The first one is Adrenal Stems. And it says setup, and that means you put it into play at setup. Hero action, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log, ready your hero, and heal five damage from them. Tactical scanner, setup. Uh, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log, draw five cards. Emergency teleporter, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log, search your ally deck and discard pile for an ally, put it into play, give it a tough status card. Laser cannon. Uh, deal five damage to the villain and each enemy engaged with you. Improved thwart upgrade. So it's a permanent. 
which means a card with a permanent keyword cannot leave play. And uh, you get plus two hit points. Your hero gets plus one thwart. And after you defeat a side scheme, exhaust this card, draw one card. Improved attack upgrade. You get plus one hit point, get plus one attack. And then after you defeat a minion, exhaust this card and draw a card. You, with improved defense upgrade, you get plus three hit points. Your hero gets a plus one defense. And after you defend against an attack, exhaust this card, draw a card. Okay, improved recovery upgrade. You get plus four hit points. Your alter ego gets plus one recovery. And then after you recover, exhaust to draw a card. Zola's algorithm, and it has an acceleration icon. This is an obligation. Alter ego action, exhaust your alter ego and spend a mental resource to discard this card. And this is an expert campaign. This is with the expert campaign. Medical emergency, this is also an obligation. At the end of your turn, take one damage if you're in hero form. Discard the top five cards of your deck and spend a physical resource. Discard this card. Martial law, your hand size is reduced by one. Alter ego action, deal yourself an encounter card and spend a energy resource. An energy resource, discard the card. Anti-hero propaganda, it's an obligation. You get minus one thwart attack and defense and uh, you take two damage and spend a wild resource to discard this. And we've seen Zola's algorithm. We've seen medical emergency, martial law. We just, uh, uh, we've seen that one. We've seen anti-hero propaganda. There's Zola's algorithm again, medical emergency, martial law, anti-hero propaganda. And it looks like that's it. So it's just several copies of those obligations. And that will do it for the Rise of the Red Skull unboxing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider to like and subscribe. I probably will be doing a campaign playthrough soon. Uh, so if you're interested in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll know when those videos start to come out. And until, the, until my next video, I'll save you a seat at the table.